Hey guys, Doug here again with another fun little tutorial. In the past, years past, we've done a bear coming out of a, a stick or a dowel, all right? We've done the, uh, the full bodied bear, all right? But now we're in our one by one series. So today I've condensed uh, the two into one into the one by one series. So today we're gonna make a bear out of a stump in the one by one and we're going to do a full body bear in the one by one. I've been playing with these all week and I've made a whole bunch of examples here. And it uh, should be a really good, uh, fun little carve and a great uh, addition to our one by one series. But before we do that, we got to thank our sponsor, which is, of course, Wood Carving Illustrated. Fantastic magazine for wood carvers, young, old, new, and old. But uh, young, old, new, and old. No. Young, old, new, and experienced. How's that? But uh, good little magazine, full of tips, tricks, plans. And uh, look at this latest edition. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. I got an article in the magazine. But like I said, great magazine. Lots of little fun little projects in here. Uh, they've given me a promo code, all caps linker, L-I-N-K-E-R, link in the description. But uh, if you use that promo code, all caps, linker, uh, they'll give you some extra little uh, goodies, some little downloads with your subscription. So uh, very worthwhile. Check it out. But uh, I'm a little bit stoked to, uh, to get these little carvings on the go. So without further ado, let's go carve our little uh, bear in the stump. And bear, full body bear. All right, let's go. All right, let's get cracking here with our piece of wood and uh, we're going to do things differently today. Today we're going to focus on the head only, like this, right, and like this, like a bear bell. <laughs> we're doing the head only first and then we you can decide if you want to do the full body or the stump. So just use a longer piece of wood or if you're just going to do the body, it's a two inch, all right, but anyway. As we do, let's mark our centers all around. All right. And then we're going to take our ruler and we're going to take it and we're just, the head itself on this one by one is only about seven eighths of an inch. All right. So just a, a hair shy of an inch. I'm going to bring that all the way around. All right. There we go. I'm going to take my knife. Today's knife is the old faithful inch and three quarter Helvey, but uh, any knife will do. Drake, Flex Cut, Badger State, you name it, Deep Holler, Kia's Sharp Knife, Freshly Strop, Let's Go, Carving Glove on. But anyway, I'm going to go around at that 7 8 mark, and I'm just going to take all the corners off. All right. Taking the corners, that's just marking where the head's going to be, and then it'll be less less wood to remove when I go across like this. All right, I'm just making a a deep V cut. All right, and wiggle her back and forth, wiggle her back and forth, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. This is rough anyway. It's just a. Okay, so that's our head. So right off the bat, let's just knock some corners off of here, just for our own sake. We can take the... See, as much as we went down, go off the bottom. Again, still rough. That is where we are, okay? Head is separated from the shoulders. Okay, now, with that said, we're gonna go to our top line here, and uh, all we're gonna do, we're gonna put our knife in here, and wiggle her in, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, then we're gonna come across on a 45 degree angle, 
just wiggle. I'm using my thumb as the motor, okay? This is not me pushing with my wrist. I'm just using my thumb. And I'm, I'm pushing with my thumb so it can never jump away and take my finger off. But same thing on this side. And you can see we're just a hair, maybe an eighth of an inch off of that center line. All right. What we're doing is that we're making the ears. All right. Yeah. And then we're going to give it about uh, maybe close to a quarter of an inch thickness on the top. We're going to do the same thing from the back side. All right. Just like so. Just like so. All right. Now, I always do things symmetrically, but what happens if uh, one ear is bigger than the other? Nothing. It gives it some some character. Okay, so that's our ears. See that? Now, to get the sides of our ears, we're going to come down a healthy quarter inch again. This is just subjective, whatever you like for your ears. And I'm going to come up underneath of it. See that? And I'm going to take that down to the shoulder I'm using my thumb again. I'm not pushing into that knife into my hand. All right. So that's what we got. Now you can see I've got that dirty, dirty lip there. And we're going to get that out of there. But I'm going to start from the back side. I'm going to start rounding a little bit off as I take off that little extra cut. All right. This, there you go. And before I leave this side, I'm going to recut in that shoulder. V cut. All right. Now, let's jump over to this side again. Same thing. Just going to put in the bottom of the ear cut. Going to come up to it. And it's not very deep. It's a millimeter or two max. Down to the shoulder. Back up to the ear. All right. Knowing that this is the front, then I'm going to take that corner off the back of the ear. Clean that line out of there. Come around the front. Clean that line out of there. See? Oh, I'm going to get that shoulder back in. V cut in the bottom. All right. And we look at it. It's all symmetrical ish. I put this darker green on here. Hopefully it shows up a little bit better. All right. Now, whatever height we did or we did here, we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to come across. I'm going to take a V cut out of there. Just trying to make a make an ear. All right. See that? Now, we can knock the corners off the ear. Same thing on the top as we did on the side here, though. We can take that off of there. Giving that ear some shape. All right. Rounding the back. All right. And then we can bring that ear from the bottom forward. Just by... Up like that, all right. Take off that exterior wood. We want all sides, uh, all areas of the wood have to be cut with the knife, all right. So that's all we're doing right now, okay. Now I'm going to bring that back of the head forward. Without nicking in the ear, Doug. <laughs> All right. Right now, when we're done with the back of the head, we're done with the back of the head. We're not coming back. So. Lots of, lots of little facets. No real, super, distinct hard lines. All right. Now, on the top of the head between the ears, we just want to kind of 
nice and gently. Just remove that cut edge and put our own little knife cut on there, okay? So it's got a nice little, little bit of a crown between the ears, all right? Okay, now, here's my brush. We got the back of the head. All right. Let's uh, work on the top. So all I'm going to do is about a quarter of an inch in front of those ears. I'm going to take my knife, again using my thumb, I'm just going to rock it down here. Don't ever push. Pushing it leads to uh, cutting you. All right. And I'm just going to work it back and forth till I hear that little snap. Like that. I can do it again. And again. Pop. Okay. So we're making a little ledge on there. I'm going to start from that center line. I'm going to start giving it a bit of an angle. All right. Bit of an angle one way. Of an angle the other way. I'm trying to hold it back a little bit because I know it doesn't focus too well. So. Right. Look at that, make sure we're symmetrical. And we're not bad. We'll clean up that little face of the eyes. That's where the eyes are going to sit. Okay, now basically from that ledge of the eye, I'm gonna stay back a little bit from the center line, but we're gonna we're gonna make it a little more snout shaped. All right. Okay, then we'll come on the bottom, bring it in like that too. nose. All the nose is going to be is uh, since we got a little bit of a point on there, it's going to come down a little bit like so. And uh, just a little little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We're going to come up to it. All right. Take that pencil line off there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, then we're just going to uh, just give these little cuts here. And one over here. Take it off. All right. Now, we just have to make a little, teeny tiny little, little V on top, tiny little V cut, and all that is, because I painted all these noses black, I just need a little paint edge, so that's all it's going to be, just a little nick, just enough to uh, separate the paint. All right. There we go. Now, we're going to take a line. Let's put our center line back in here. All right. We're just going to give it a little bit under the nose, and then we're going to make a swooping cut around. A bit of a smile both ways. All right. See that? Okay. So, to start with, I'm going to start in the center. And just bring it up. Like this side. Start in the center. And bring it around. Alright. Now I'm gonna come underneath that and remove some wood. And 
that. Okay. And that little center line there, let's just make a teeny little V cut up to the nose. Just a teeny little. There we go. Got to take the uh, hard edges off of that mouth. Stick my knife in there, just a point, and fairly deep because all we're, we're going to open up that mouth now. Okay, there, see that? The mouth. We got a hole in the mouth, so now we're going to give it about a a lips distance. I'm going to come in and just flick my knife down, just rolling it down, just rolling it down. That. There you go, the sides. We're just making that bottom, bottom lip, just kind of rolling it. See that? We got a happy, happy little bear. Get that pencil line out of here. All right. Now. Good. We can round off all our little super sharp edges here. You don't have to, but we can. All right. Let's talk ears. Those ears, all they're going to be is going to be a. It's going to be a just a chip cut like that. All right. So stick my knife in here. Here, this way, getting that point down to the bottom of the ear, and then I'm just going to stick my blade in there, pop that out like so. All right, then I want to soften that ear up just by taking all the edges off like so. That's an ear. All right, so stick it in. in, cut across the bottom, pop it out, and as I said, just soften up that, those hard edges. There you go. We're getting there. Center line back on. I'm just going to bring those eyes around. All right. Sticking in. I am going on a little bit of an angle. Right. From the center. Just using that tip of that knife just to get around that bend. Right. Okay. Stick my knife in flat, like so. I'm going to take that corner chip out of there. Yeah. Stick my knife in straight. Take the chip out. All right. Now I'm just gonna follow that little cut line up. All right. Come across, catch that other one. Okay. A little. There we go. And there we go. Good. Around that eyeball as best you can. Alright. And then we're gonna split the eyeball just with another another teeny tiny V cut. And that our little cartoonish eyes. Alright, now just as a little extra, let's just put our knife on the shelf there on the edge there. Let's just kind of raise up that temple area, thin it in a little bit. See that? 
Same on this side. Just gonna thin that a little bit. Alright, maybe a little, a little dip on the top between the eyes. some water on that guy just so you can see the shadows and outlines but that is our bear head all right so now I'm gonna put him over here I'm gonna take my barbell bear bell and I'm gonna cut one two inches and one at three inches and then we'll do the we'll do the body and the body and the stump but we've got the head okay with our fellows cut here two inch three inch this can be any size doesn't really matter if it's three and a half or two and a half doesn't matter um let's start with the body all right so all we're gonna do here is it cut straight yep okay the fuzz is holding it up just about a quarter of an inch on the front side and then you just gonna raise it up to about three eighths on the back side. All right. All we're gonna do is uh, set the feet in place. All right. Okay. How deep are we going? We're going uh, a good quarter inch up and we've got a good quarter inch in. All right, just like so. I'm gonna put a little, little cut there just to mark that and then take all that rough wood off the front. And put a little V cut in there. I always say you can't wipe out a cut, but you can wipe out a, a pencil mark, all right? But you don't need that point on there either. All right. We can uh, come from the front here, or the top of the shoes, I guess. Shoes. Feet. All right. I'm just putting a V cut in there like that. Let's just pop this all out in one swoop all right so there's the uh the center of the feet done pretty much we can do a little v cut in the bottom too if we want some extra extra shadow and we can take the uh just a whisker off the bottom so that when it sits you see a shadow underneath all right take the corners off but let's jump right around to the butt side like I said, this is a, if that's a quarter inch, that's three eighths of an inch. And we're just going to set in a little, uh, little bare bum. All right. I'm going to come across. There we go. Okay. Take the same thing, I'm gonna put a little center cut in there. Let's do a little V cut this way. Just to separate those legs. Okay, now I'm gonna come across the, the butt. I'm just gonna do a little, another little chip cut this way. See that? Take a hair of the bottom too. There we go. And our arms are going to give us the size of the butt after. But that's where we are. Okay. So now I like to thin the backs of the feet. 
close shoes, whatever you want to call it. But basically, from the butt there, I'm not going to take, well, I'm going to take the rough wood off of here. But I'm just going to uh, thin that bottom. See that? To that line, right? Just thin in the back of the back of the leg. Not really touching the front. Like so. Okay. Now we can take this uh, corners off of here. Normally, I should do that anyway. Normally, I would uh, I sand the rough wood off because. Uh, it's distracting. But I'm gonna take the corners off the sides too. Alright. Okay. Now we need some arms. We're just gonna put a little bent arm like that on there. Okay. So basically. Keeping them fairly long. Right. Let's just do it one side. I'm just going to take that line and do a big, big chip out of there. Let's get really get that to uh, come up on an angle this way. Really get that inside of that elbow. All right. And then the back side. Could come down the back. Out of there. Come on. Come on. All right. And then down this way. And there we go. See that? And just stop that paw here. And just round it off. So, all right. Now, from the elbow, I want to thin to the shoulder and then thin to the paw from the elbow. So the elbow is sticking out the farthest. All right. And we can round that off there. So the corner there, around the whole thing to towards the, the neck. All right. There, our big giant chip cut has gotten much smaller. All right. Now I'm just softening it all up. Rounding the edges. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let me round his belly down to his feet again. But I think I'm just going to work on this side and then I'll just twin the other side. Save time on the video. That's basically it. We can put a little crease in here, but this isn't really closed, eh? This is a, it's a bear, so we don't want big, big creases, but there you go. And a little bit more. There. I like it. Just going to draw this in, and then, uh, like I said, I'll do this off camera. Just to, to catch up. All right. And you know what? If one arm is straight and one's crooked, that's all fine too. But uh, let me uh, let me get this arm done, and then uh, we'll clean up the back and uh, call it a bear. All right. Okay. There we go. One hand's a little bit higher than the other, and I like that actually. So 
Let's get this belly rounded off here. Get his pencil marks off of there. Okay, his feet are huge. We can round them, round them off a bit. But I'm not going to get too carried away. Kind of like putting a bit of a, a little bit of a, a cut back on them. Like that. But yeah, big feet. I dig it. All right, now where are we at here? Let's get that belly to soften a little bit. Uh, we can give a little bit of a split there for the legs if we want to. Stick my knife in both ways here. And all we're going to do is give a little, little slice to that center, right? And back a little slice to the center, all right? And then we'll just put a little, a little cut each way. Still a fuzzy in there, come on. Get out of there. There. That's the front of our bear. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Okay. Back. We're just going to round that back to the neck. Just round it, round it, round it. The butt is flat like that. You can bring that butt up on an angle. Bring the legs up to match. See that? One side, left side. I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna bring that up. I'm gonna join. And we're getting a nice little bum bum. <laughs> Take that old edge of the wood off. We can give it a little, a little swoop for the bum, but. There we go. Let's brush this guy off of here. What's that? What's that? We'll cut that again. Nice clean line around the neck. Let's spray him with some water. All right. There's our little bear. <laughs> I don't know. You can go ahead and put little nicks for the claws or the feet, but I don't know that it really adds that much. In fact, I kind of like simple and plain like this. All right, but you can see I've put a t-shirt on one, which is very straightforward. I'll put a tie on this guy for no reason in particular. But uh, yeah, that's our little two inch bear. I dig them. Okay, now it's time to take our head and put them in the stump. Okay, with our bear out of the way, it's time to move on to our old stumpy bear. Okay, so again, we went from seven eighths of an inch from the top to the neckline. So if we take that neckline, another seven eighths of an inch. Okay, how about that? I'm going to uh, cut our wood. Just like so. And that's where we're making our, these are going to be our paws hanging over the, the stump. All right. So I'm going to clean up this uh, bottom. Right. 
In fact, I want to take all that rough wood off of here too. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to uh, bring that back up under the neck. Okay, so let's get that. Just leaving a little, a little flatter area here. Right. Working these edges over. Alright. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is uh, put a center mark here. Let's bring that up about three eighths. And then we're just going to uh, just veer off. Just going to take off our own way. Just like so. Alright. So. Take my knife, stick it in there, come around from this side. I am on a bit of an angle. All right. I'm going to take that little V out of the bottom, a little chip cut. All right. I'm going to come down from the top, take that out, come this way. There we go. Get around our little arms off. All right. There we go. That's that. Okay, now I'm going to take this sides off of here. Okay. And going forward, I should take all the rough wood off <laughs> beforehand. So you don't have to watch that. But that's how you learn, eh? Okay, now, please corners off of here, all I'm going to do is, you see these sides here, alright, I'm just going to bring these up, like that, so I'm in a little bit here, yeah, we got to get around those shoulders, see that? Just rounding up to the to the neck. Because I haven't seen any square bears before. Alright. There we go. Let's come up underneath, cut it out. And we'll soften her up a little bit. Take the corner off the paw. Pause it looks a little bit bigger, so make it a little bit narrower. There we go. Just opening it up a little bit more in the chest area. We can take a bit of a, a bit of that meat out of there. Cleanly though. 
Where's my brush? Come on, little chippy chip. You don't belong there. This video is how to get that last chip out. Good. Okay. Here we go. So a little bit of flat on the front of the paws. And then the... So a little bit of flat on the front. And then up. And then... All we're going to do... We want to be up into the uh, the arm, the paws. So we want the paws to be over the log. So as soon as we find the, so that's about, up about a quarter, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, yeah, a good quarter. See that? So now we're just going to uh, cut a little chip cut out of that corner here. Same thing on this side. I am cutting the top of that uh, stump a bit of an angle up. We don't want it too straight. So. Yeah. All right. Now we're just going to bring our. Well, before we do that, let's get all these corners off of here. This is the log. Okay. Okay, now we can finish them off. And what do we want? We want maybe an eighth of an inch showing around. Something I also like to do is to uh, we need a little a little shadow in there. So if I come around with my knife, okay, I'm just gonna put a little little cut around like this and try and get that little little sliver of a cut out of there. Right. See if I got that shadow in there now. I don't know if you can see that or not. But from that to that, alright? So I'm just gonna bring my knife around. Just get that little little whisker out of there. Otherwise the bear and the stump are one, right? We want to show that they're not, that there's a, a separation. <laughs> All right. One more side. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, you say to yourself, well, that log is a little bit wonky. Yes, it is, because it's a natural, naturally broken log, and it's not going to be uh, perfectly square and symmetrical. All right. So, just rounding. Getting off all the outside uh, wood before I start making it logish. All right. Okay. Good enough. You can put a little little knot hole in there. Yeah. I like to uh, first of all let's take the take some bottom edges off. Get the corners off. 
And then we'll just start here with a, let's do a big sliver this way. All right, put one in here, just come one way. All right. On the top here, let's, uh, let's put a little split in our wood here. Yeah. So, the same thing in the bottom. And then I'll go across into it. Yeah. So we can do it again here. Okay. And let's do, where are we? One more here. So put a V cut in here. But the V cut is like so. But then that's not enough. Let's come across into the V cut. And then that gives a whole corner. All right. One thing I should show you, see how I brought a V? This is the only one I think I did it on. I brought the V of the front down too. It shows a little bit more of the bear in the log. That's an idea too. But, well, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's just, uh, it's tough. Tough to pop it out. But it's a nice little extra. Mm -hmm. That just says I'm not all uh, I'm not all uh, pause. I got a body. Mm -hmm. Now we can bring that my angle down. Use your own discretion if you like that or not. Okay. <laughs> oh, leave it alone, Doug. Keep moving. <laughs> All right. Now, obviously, if you have a V-tool or a gouge or whatever, you can uh, use your V-tool or gouge, but, I mean, a knife is just as easy just to take some little slivers here and there. Nothing is ever straight. All right, let's just focus on the front here. Let me do one, one more here. some bark texture right. okay that's the idea anyway all right it won't make you watch me go around but there's our little uh, bear in a stump i i like that same thing goes, you can put four little tiny V cuts, but I'm starting to think of the mind that uh, I don't think it adds anything. I like the simplicity of it without maybe. All right, but there you go. Oh, sure, I'll spray them with some water too. Highlight the little fella. There you go. Our little bear and the stump, and our little bear on his own. There you go. All right, there you go. Look at that fun little carvings with just a knife. I love these. I don't care who you are. That's just a fun little carve. So have fun with them. Make them your own. Paint them any way you want. Man, I got a I have a blue bear, a blue bear, and a little yellow bear. So. Yeah, sky's the limit. Have fun with them. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with another video sooner than later. And until then, don't forget about our uh, Wood Carving Illustrated sponsorship. Great magazine. Like I said, I waited forever. I wouldn't take sponsors for seven years. 
until they came along and it's the perfect match, perfect magazine, very worthwhile. Check them out and uh, I will be back with another video sooner than later. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. See ya.